It is mandatory to perform the following five prayers every day during the prescribed times. Fajr or morning prayer, consisting of two units. Each unit of prayer is called a rak'ah. Dhuhr or midday prayer, consisting of four rak'at. Asr or afternoon prayer, consisting of four rak'at. Maghrib or sunset prayer, consisting of three rak'at and Isha, or night prayer, consisting of four rak'at. The general prayer timings are as follows. The time for Fajr prayer is before dawn, ending shortly before sunrise. Dhuhr prayer begins at the middle of the day, or just after the sun hits its highest point in the sky. Asr prayer falls between Dhuhr prayer and Maghrib prayer. It can also be performed directly after Luhur prayer. Maghrib prayer is performed shortly after sunset. Isha prayer is performed between sunset and midnight, with midnight defined as the midpoint between sunset and the beginning of the time for Fajr prayer. Isha can also be performed directly after Maghrib prayer. Be aware that these are general timing guidelines. Exact prayer timings are available from your local mosque or a trusted online source. Because timings rely on the position of the sun, timings will vary depending on your location. Be sure to check timings for your area. It is important to note that it is permissible to perform Asr immediately after Luhur and Isha immediately after Maghrib. As a result, within the course of a day, the mandatory prayers can be performed at three times instead of five. This is especially important when separating the prayers would pose a hardship. There are four basic requirements during prayer. You must be on wudu. You must face the qibla or direction of Mecca. You must recite in Arabic and your clothing must be free from impurities, such as blood, urine, semen, or other nejis or impure things. Although approximate transliteration is shown for each recitation, it is best to try and learn the Arabic script and pronunciation. It is also important to note that your body must be still while reciting any part of the prayer. The following demonstration covers the mandatory parts of prayer. In addition, there are a few commonly performed actions that are recommended which have also been included. There are 11 mandatory acts or concepts that constitute the prayer. We will be covering each of these during the lesson. Niya or intention, this declares your intention for the prayer. Qiyam or standing upright. Takbiratul Ihram, this is the first mention of the phrase Allahu Akbar during the prayer. This also signifies the moment the prayer officially begins. Rukur or bowing. Sujood or prostration. This must be performed on earth or on an element from the earth. Typically it is performed on a turba or prayer stone. Qira'a or recitation. Dhikr or prescribed recitation. This is in Rukur and Sujood. Tashahud, or bearing witness. This is after completing the Sujood of the second and the last Raka'ah. Salam, or salutation. Tartib, or sequence. Muwala, or to perform the different acts of prayer in regular succession. Sujood, or prostration, is performed with the intention of humility before God. In this position, seven points of the body must be touching the ground. The forehead, both palms, both knees, and both big toes. The adhan is the call to prayer. It is a recommended action performed before the prayer begins. 
Adhan consists of the following phrases which are recited twice. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. At this point, it is recommended to recite Ashhadu anna Aliyan Waliullah. أشهد أن عليا ولي الله حيا على الصلاة حيا على الصلاة حيا على الفلاح حيا على الفلاح حيا على خير العمل حيا على خير العمل الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله The Iqama is also a recommended act before the prayer. It is similar to the Adhan but varies in three ways. The first Allahu Akbar repeats only twice. A new phrase is inserted. And the final phrase does not repeat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah, Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. At this point, it is recommended to recite. أشهد أن عليا ولي الله أشهد أن عليا ولي الله حيا على الصلاة حيا على الصلاة حيا على الفلاح حيا على الفلاح حيا على خير العمل حيا على خير العمل قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله For the purposes of this instructional video, you will see this graphic display which will help you follow along. Each segment of the clock represents one rak'ah. Within each rak'ah, standing, bowing, prostrating, and sitting positions are depicted.